Good evening, I'm Elliot Rodriguez. And I'm Lauren Pastrana. Thank you for joining us tonight. Haiti is under attack. Local armed gangs are ravishing through the small nation with reports of them also trying to seize control of Haiti's main international airport. Now, the U.S. State Department has issued multiple travel warnings asking Americans and State Department employees to stay put and be careful, but there are Americans who are still there and say they can't leave. CBS News Miami's executive producer impacting communities, Tanya Francois, spoke to some of them, one who is very close to her, about why they're still there. She's live at Miami International Airport with their stories. Tanya. That's right, Elliot. Moments ago, some of those gangs tried to take over Haiti's international airport. It was a gun battle between them, the military, and the police, but they were unsuccessful. Now, despite many warnings, as you said, Haitian Americans are still on the island. One of those people happens to be my younger sister. She has asked us to not show her face or say her name for her own protection. I've been stuck in my city where I'm living now for about two months, uh, trying to make it into Port-au-Prince so I can fly to the States and I just can't leave. My sister now calls Haiti home. She's adopted a son and also runs an orphanage. But like many Haitian Americans, the violence and unrest has stopped her from being able to travel. Since February, she's been trying to get to a doctor's appointment here in South Florida. I was supposed to leave again for Port-au-Prince tomorrow, but the airports have been closed. Um, Every from sunrise, which flies in through Port-au-Prince into the United States, JetBlue, American Airlines, Spirit, they've all canceled flights. We work literally in the ghettos for the most vulnerable people. And um, there's no help. There's no one really standing in line to help people like them. Kareen Ulysse is also a Haitian-American working in Cité Soleil, a suburb of Port-au-Prince. She's in the heart of where some of the worst gang violence is currently happening. She's taking over her father's hospital, which is also part orphanage. <laughs> This is video from a few days ago. The surrounding community held a prayer vigil to protect their hospital and its babies. The mothers can't get jobs, so they're in my care. So that's how I ended up with 17 little ones in right now. And sometimes uh, people give birth at the hospital. They don't come back for them. So... I take him home. And the, the orphanage is in my house. This is also why Kareen can't leave. She says despite hearing gunfire from just yards away from her doorsteps, she says the work she's doing is far greater. I'm here to stay. I'm here to see this through. My will to fight for good is just, has to be just as strong, if not stronger, than their will to destroy. So I'm here for the long run. This is home. I don't have a plan B. <laughs> so this, I left everything in the States, and I'm here. Now, because all of the flights are canceled, a lot of the help that usually flows in and out of Haiti has been canceled or delayed, making the situation there even more dire. Now, at 7 o'clock, joining us will be Jackie Charles. She's the, Haiti, she's the Haiti Caribbean reporter for the Miami Herald, and she will have the latest on all things happening on the island. Live at Miami International Airport, Tanya Francois, CBS News, Miami. Tanya, thank you for your reporting.